bump steer, bump steer in Hondas. Hi everyone, it's uh, Grant from home here. Just wanted to um, say a couple of things about bump steer. Obviously, uh, home, my company, we do um, an adjustable tie rod kit for Hondas, and we use the term we use the term bump steer. It's a bit of a misnomer, uh, particularly when it comes to 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 Hondas. What we're really correcting, or what we're, the issue we're really fixing, is uh, is a toe change, right? So, um, back when cars had steering boxes and, and panhard rods and life and, and solid axle front axles, you would get bumps there where if the um, the geometry of the links of your of your panhard rod and your and your steering tie rod, if they were out. And what would happen would be that um, as you drive down the road, your steering wheel would get you know kicked out of your hands, and that would happen as you went over a bump. So as you went over a bump, your um, your axle would actually be trying to go sideways underneath, you know, relative to the car, um, and that would kind of turn the wheel. But that's that's with live axle cars. So you you get that with four drives. You get that with you know cars from the 50s and 60s. That that type of thing. Um, 70s maybe as well uh, some American cars but with our Hondas our Hondas are double wishbone so you don't get bump steer doesn't present itself like um, you go you're going down the road you hit a bump and your steering wheel sort of you know it's, you're fighting your steering wheel um, that's not really due to due to sort of a, a toe change um, or, you know, a toe change with bump what does happen in Hondas, and the reason that um, Tom and I developed our tie rod kit, is that you, um, what happens is both wheels tow in or out um, with bump and droop. Uh, so they go, instead of uh, in the old cars and the live axle cars, but both wheels would steer the same way. Um, on, a, on a Honda with a double wishbone, what happens is that both wheels will either tow in or both wheels will tow out. And what we found through, um, you know, using a tow gauge and, and, and sort of measurement was that when you add, align your, your car with extra caster and extreme camber and a low ride height, that the, the suspension geometry is such that you get tow in with bump. And why that's detrimental, particularly when you're trying to extract, you know, the most from your tires, is when you go into a corner and you get on the picks, and you and all your weight transfers forward and your front suspension compresses and then you, know, you, you, you and then you say you go to turn in you're turning in but you're also so you, you, you turn in the steering wheel a certain amount and you're and, and that'll translate to you know a few X amount of degrees of the front wheels turning what happens then when you hit a bump is that the, the outside wheel is then towing in more so what, what you're expecting to happen is to turn the steering wheel and the wheels to turn with a certain amount of um, turn a certain amount of angle. That the tire then has that certain amount of angle slip angle to the road, and then and then you know generates this little rip and around the corner you go. What happens when you've got um, when you get a lot of toe in with bump is um, you go to turn in, you hit, you know you hit a bump, the car gets unsettled. That outside wheel, which is heavily laden. Because not only is your weight transferred forward, but it's also transferred to you know the outside of, you, of whatever it is corner you're going around. Um, that to that wheel then then toes in further than what you you know what it would otherwise um, than if you had you know no no toe change at all. Um, so say you had perfect suspension geometry and you had no toe change, um, the wheel would just stay at whatever steering angle you turned it to. But what actually happens is. Um, you, you, know, you turn, the wheel takes its angle, and then if you're going around the corner and you, and you hit a bump, the wheel will tow in further. What that means is that, uh, you know, it's, it, and what that means when you're driving at the limit is that if you're, if you're right on the, um, if you're right on the threshold of, of uh, slip angle to the road that your tire can take, and then you hit a bump and that slip angle is increased over the limit, then it'll then you'll um, surpass the, you know, the maximum grip that that tire can give you, uh, and then it'll push, um, you know, and you'll, it'll, like, 
translate into understeer, or it might just translate into, um, you know, uh, either overheating the tyres or um, you know, to greater or lesser degree, depending on on sort of how hard you're pushing it. So what our tyro, what we try and achieve with our tyro kit is. Uh, we can't eliminate any toe, you know, we can't eliminate toe change and anyone tell you that, tells you that, you know, such and such car has got, um, you know, no, no, um, no bump steer is, you know, you got to really, you got to really kind of treat that statement with a grain of salt because whenever anything has got sort of multiple links and they're all on different planes, uh, there's always going to be some kind of toe change and it's, it's going to trend one way or the other. So... We don't say that we eliminate bump steer. What we say is that we make that bump steer work to our advantage. So we tune it so that instead of towing in, you t the wheel actually tows out a little bit. Um, so when you turn in, instead of getting more slip angle than you wanted, you get slightly less. Um, and we've just found that um, that is one nicer on the tires. It means that you never, um, and, is, and when you're driving on the, uh, on the absolute limit of, of grip and pushing the tires as hard as you can trying to eke out every last little bit of you know lateral grip from the tires or lateral force from the tires um, it's sort of better it's better for the tires to sort of tow out um, than, it, than it is tow in because if they tow out you're, you're just reducing the stress at the contact patch um, and then hopefully you know hopefully it stays hopefully it stays attached um, and uh, yeah and all our testing it and all our testing and, and driving on the road and experience and stuff it, it tends to translate into making the cars, um, uh, you know, just just turn in so much better, be more consistent when they are turned in through long sweeping through long sweeping um, type corners. They're far more composed um, and sort of one 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 trend uh, on all of the cars that Tom and I have tuned is that they have immense front end grip. Like they just they don't understand. Um, <laughs> They, they, if anything, the cars with the way that we set them up, they're slightly, um, slightly a little bit oversteer ten, uh, have, a, have, a, have an oversteer tendency. Um, but we use that, uh, particularly in low speed situations, to help help turn the car, uh, help get the car turned around and squared up so you're you know, aligned with the next straight and you can just accelerate out out of course. Um, and it, with a front wheel drive you kind of have to um, set them up that way because you can't just power power oversteer out of the corner you can't use you can't just use the throttle to um, rotate the car further um, so yeah there's just some uh, just some thoughts on bump steer uh, sort of explanation of the terms you know, if it was up to us being being nerdy engineers we'd probably uh, say call it something you know it's, it's toe curve tuning or it's a, it's a toe curve you know toe change toe, toe change kit but the thing is that no one would know what that meant no one would no, no one would ever search for that um, so we kind of trade use the use the um, colloquial term bump steer um, but when it when you're talking about a double wishbone it's a little bit of a confusing term but we do hear people say oh my car doesn't doesn't, doesn't bump steer and what they mean is that they don't feel that the steering wheel is getting tugged out of their hands. Um, this their, their car is still getting that same toe change that I, that I talked about, but um, yeah, it, it just doesn't present itself as sort of jerking in the wheel. Um, so yeah, that's uh, it's a little lesson on bumps there for you. Cheers, crowd.